All right. We back. Today's been all right. You know, uh, not that sunny today. It's a bit cloudy. But gotta get, gotta get some stuff done and uh, check this place out. It's Friday. Or well, if anything, I might, um, definitely gotta watch the road too, but if anything, I might um, just see where it is today. Get a little bit of B-roll, some bro, and some footy, and then probably come back uh, tomorrow. Come back tomorrow, Saturday, if the museums tomorrow are open. So um, for me, I'm gonna take somewhat of a, uh, oh no, that's a mansion back here. I was gonna take somewhat of a scenic route, but you know, not really, uh, not really, you know, take too much of a scenic route. Now, what I'm doing, to tell you the truth, this is why I wanna take roads with less vehicles, is uh, extremely dangerous. You know, I know y'all see me talk about uh, Ed and some other people and telling him like, you know, be careful while you're out driving and literally, uh, you know, see if I can darken this a little bit. And uh, you know, while you're out driving and you know, not paying attention to the road and stuff. The thing is, is that I know because I do something that's more extremely dangerous and I definitely know what I'm doing, you know. But then again, you know, you can't tell people what to do or how to do what they believe they do or, you know, uh, versus what they actually do. And I love this scenic, this scenic view, you know, over here. Kind of like uh, doing like a cool scenic view, but it's actually better to uh, do it this way. So on uh, today's show, we're going to a bomb museum a museum uh, where uh, they have like the bombs and stuff on a uh, showcase you know and uh, basically uh, you know um, there's actually two museums there's actually one on the way to where we're going now and there's actually another one on the way This one is actually on the way to the one that we might go to tomorrow, just in case this one be open, because we only have like an hour or two of uh, sunlight, so. And now, obviously, that I'm on the road, my GPS wants to act stupid. Come on, directions, like what the hell? Oh, what are you doing? People, people be nosy as hell. Hold on, y'all. Yes. Okay, so it is closing soon. All right, well, let's motor down there. It said it is closing soon, so. When we get close, I guess we'll motor down there. I kind of know the vicinity and where it is, but I just, I don't know. I just kind of, you know. If you look over at Thailand, it's just beautiful. I like taking this scenic route. This scenic route is better, and the roads and stuff here is better. And it's about to be on and popping tonight. It's Friday, whereas every day, every day out here is basically a Friday. You know what I'm saying? 
This go, there goes my girl shop. She thick as hell. I gotta take y'all there one day and show y'all. Like, she bad face, body, everything, man. You know? Cool stuff out here, man. Definitely cool stuff out here. So, make sure you guys look at this huge place behind me. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel because, you know, this is some movie like quality you know i made sure i dialed up some of the cinema stuff on my camera and actually the camera's just chilling at this point you know what i'm saying the camera's definitely just chilling at this point but today really i was really doing today just to see where things are and um and get some footy you know what i'm saying um we'll go through this uh night market Obviously, it's not nighttime yet, but you know, they setting up and doing their thing. So let me cross this dangerous street real quick. This guy has a Rottweiler. This is the first Rottweiler I've seen in Laos, you know. Look some cuties here today, you know, so definitely out on the night market. But it's daytime. It's actually fun and cool to be shopping and doing stuff around here during the daytime. Because the daytime is just, you know what I'm saying? It's just nice, it's just nice during the daytime here. But everybody is, uh, you know, setting up for tonight. So, give me one second. All right, these people. Put this toy right in my way. Uh, hold on, yo. You gotta watch out. People just don't. People, people be doing all kinds of shit and doing like all kinds of weird movements and shit on the street and stuff like that. So you, you know me. You know you gotta be sharper about people then. So, and then sometimes too you gotta be sharper about some of the stuff that you're doing. Excuse me, guys. Sometimes you gotta be sharper about some of the stuff that you're doing too. So. You know what I'm saying, but me, I've been doing this for a long time. Doesn't make it right though. You know, definitely I'm not saying, hey, this is what y'all need to do. Hey, this is the most safe thing. Doesn't make it right. So definitely anything y'all see me doing here, don't try this at home. Don't try it here. Don't try it anywhere. You did? Because people are on their phones and not paying attention to where they're walking. And you know, it is what it is. I could be on my phone and my camera. I still be watching, but that's me, you know? So anyway, definitely daredevil run and gun type, you know, photo style or shooting style. Excuse me, Sabaidi. It's like three people not watching what they're doing. Even this white man not watching what he's doing. watching where she going. People will literally like just walk like this, like like diagonal. Like they'll do like weird walking patterns. Uh, it's something that I've noticed. Not really something to do a show on because y'all don't y'all don't do exactly what I'm doing. Like these people right here, like they have like the most weirdest <laughs> come on. Come on. They have the most weirdest walking pattern. <laughs> So yeah, so it's better, it's better to be hanging on your brakes while you out here. The people just don't know how to walk, so. It was either me or the kid, so I had to kill the boy. All right, so look. All right, so we back. Now we should be a little bit closer to the museum. We're more closer to where like, uh... hold on y'all. We're more closer to where, uh... All right, so we're almost there. Ugh. Hopefully y'all day is going well. Hopefully y'all are enjoying this content. Make sure you do me a favor. Other than hit the super chat button, not the super chat, but the, the super thanks button. Y'all gonna hit that super thanks button for me, right? 
Y'all can do that for me, right? While I'm out here handling traffic and business and stuff, y'all can go on ahead and hit that super thanks button for your boy. You dig? Give me one second, because people don't know how to drive, neither. These people don't know how to cross the street. So, movie quality today. Definitely switch to movie quality. Because I kind of wanted to show y'all what YouTube don't want to show y'all in the color and in the... I'm not editing none of this video. Like, everything is raw. The audio is raw. The, uh, you know, the video is raw. No homo. You know? Old clean bass. When in doubt, it's better to go against traffic than with it. It's better to have eyes in front of you they're not behind you. A lot of people ask me, why do you ride on the opposite on, of the road? Well, people ride on the opposite of the road out here, you know? People definitely ride on the opposite of the road, even motorbikes and stuff like that. It's better to see, it's better to see a car than to not see a car, you know? Look at this huge mansion behind me. And they, they mansions out here are bigger than the White House. And it'd be a real White House gate and everything. They got my statue. Y'all know the vibes, you know? Make sure all of my things are on me. But yeah. It's beautiful here. And I don't know why it's brown here. It's like tinge, like for some reason, it's brown here. I don't know why. Like, just even, like, the settings, it's, like, kind of better on your eyes. Like, Thailand is bright for some strange reason, you know? Big Mercedes. For some reason, Thailand is, like, extremely bright. I wonder why. Like, it seems like, like, Laos has, like, shades on it like it's an FD filter you know definitely gonna get another camera same camera and mod it probably get one used you know I done had this camera for a long time and this is like one of the best cameras that I own I'm really risking it by riding around and doing this but risks have rewards and sometimes the rewards aren't worth the risk but that doesn't mean you shouldn't take the risk sometimes, you know? Look at that. This thing is just even dope in motion, man. All right, so we're gonna have to cop a left soon. Now, now it's acting stupid again and not showing me. Where the hell I'm at? And this was where I was gonna get my house, uh, my, my apartment out here. It's, not, it's kind of close to where my apartment was going to be. And it's funny because... Let me cop this left right here and go down this alley. See where I'm at. Okay, we're running, we're, we're running good time, but I got to watch the road and stuff like that because that's where I got busted last time. I took a, I took a nice... Took a nice fall. Hey, what's going on, man? That's my bro. He be at the uh, market. This this city is so this this town is so small. Like you're going to you're going to see people that you know eventually if you go out and you do stuff out here. I like I like the up close with the with the uh, with the blurred background. But stuff out here is pretty, man, and beautiful. I remember dreaming about what I'm doing now. Look at this temple right here. Hold on, let me see. Ooh, man, I thought I was, I thought I was gonna have to dismount. Look at this beautiful, 
Look at this beautiful temple behind me. Look at this, y'all. Look at that. You see stuff like this out here all the time. Hold on, let me come down off this thing. Ugh. Look at that. Look at how gorgeous this place is. You dig? And I told y'all the school out here is better. Look at this kindergarten school right across. Look at that. Now the zoom and the lens on this thing is nice, but it's more better for like up close, nothing too far away. You know what I'm saying? So that's what makes it a good vlogging camera. But a lot of people want the range because it's a little bit different when you hold it out. Like, that, you know, it doesn't get as wide as a lot of people would like it. So a lot of people do mod these cameras. So that's why I said I'll probably get another one and stuff like that. And then, you know, you guys, you know, God blesses me, which he always has. You know, God's blessing is never in, in question or character when it comes to me. We're gonna go down this beautiful alley. Or actually, let's go check out this temple. What's going on? Let's go check out this temple, you know. I don't think I wanna go through it. Oh, well, there's a couple people going through it. Okay, let's go through this temple. It's smoke free. You know, so so if we got beef, we can't go in this temple right here. <laughs> no smoke, you know. Oh man. So look how beautiful. Look how beautiful this temple is. And and, and you know, this is just this is literally just uh, walking. You know, walking around. You know, literally just walking around. You can you get to you get to see stuff like this just literally walking around. Let me clean off my tires a little bit, run it through this water. You know, a lot of motorbikes and a lot of people come through this temple. So let me go around real quick and let me show y'all this beautiful statue. Let's kind of take a scenic route and stuff. You know, you got more statues and stuff like that. You got this beautiful statue behind me. You know. Sometimes the depth of field is a, um, is a crazy thing when you're trying to show people stuff. She looked like that wrestling girl with the, with, the, with the long hair, you know? If this car would stop being nosy and, and pay attention to where he's going, we could definitely make this left turn. Thank you. Woo! Mm. Some of these statues are probably blurred out, so Sometimes too, that's why um, it's good to have like, you know, a camera that, um, that has like a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of range too, so that, you know, um, or maybe I might have to change my shutter settings so that, you know, um, you know uh, uh, things aren't super blurred, you know? Everybody's uh, uh, meditating and stuff like that. So when I told you guys, like, you know, there's different types of people in the world. Of course, a lot of brothers and um, people that travel, you know. <laughs> of course, a lot of brothers and people that travel, they go to the Dominican Republic and stuff like that. Nothing wrong with the Dominican Republic and, uh, you know, a lot of these places that people go. Okay, I, I see where I can go. It's nothing wrong with that, but, like, you know, you gotta really go into the underworld in those countries to really find um, religion. You know what I'm saying? Even though rosaries and, and stuff is everywhere, you know, their religion, their religion, you kinda have to go find it. It's not kinda like in your face like that, you know? Of course you'll see, of course you'll see like altars and You'll see like, you know, um, you know, candles and things of that sort. But, you know, it, it, it can mean a lot of different religions and stuff like that. Whereas out here, you already know, you know, Buddha, Buddhist and, and stuff, it's just there. So a lot of times, like I said in, in, um, in you know, one of my older shows, that a lot of people that, that come out here, they do come out here to find, you know, uh, somewhat of a spiritual element, you know, to kind of, uh, you know, kind of get in touch with themselves. 
One thing I like about Buddhism, and uh, you know, this person's not paying attention both ways. Look at he about to he about to crash. One thing I like about and he got a kid and stuff on his on his bike. One thing I like about Buddhism, and um, you know, um, even like Zen and all that other stuff, is um, it's not forced upon you. You know, nobody like you know Buddhists don't walk around and try to convert people. You know, same thing with certain type of Muslims. They don't walk around and try to convert people. When you find Islam, they tell you, that's good, you found out, you know, you, you know now, you know, now you know. They on that type of stuff, you know? Whereas, you know, um, okay, I gotta pay attention to my battery. You know, um, Buddhism is, it's like, it's like, it's also, it's also coupled in with being calm, you know? How to, how to be calm and, um, you know, uh, uh, relax, you know? There's a, I don't know what's going on over here, but, you know? There's like a smoothness to it, you know? It's, it's like a relax and chill. It's not forcing religion upon you, but it is relaxing. You know what I'm saying? It is relaxing. Now, I think we're at the place here, but I think I'm on the other side of it. So let me pay attention to the street. Because I'm feeling stuff up under my arm. Ooh. Um, but this is a hospital. Let me go down in here real quick. Hold on, y'all. So at least I'll know where I'm going next time. I'll just ask somebody around here because we're fairly close to it, you know. Oh, that's cool. They're playing. Uh, they're playing checkers with uh, with beer caps. Wow, this is awesome. So indoor stadium for disabled people. Some of this stuff is just hanging around out here, you know. Um, Let's see if we can at least let's see if we can at least see uh, one bomb or something out here. Let's kind of go around and just kind of hang outside a little bit. Show you guys some cool stuff because it looks familiar. I knew what the building in the background and stuff looks like. There's a tank over there. Does not look like a bomb? You know, opening ceremony for speech language therapy. And room got a lot of stuff going here with uh, Korea. So I think I'm close, but I just don't know. And if anything, this is good because then I'll know where to go tomorrow. You know. Now some of these roads are messed up, even for the one wheel. So I do not know why some of these roads are messed up and ramps and stuff. So I don't see where I'm looking for. Oh, uh, somebody, do you, do you know where uh, Cope, Cope is? Cope? Okay, come try. So it's an administration building. Oh, it looks like it's on the other side of this. So I'm a little bit further down. It's, uh, I think it's up here. Oh man. Well, I'm glad I took this little daytime, you know, oh, here it is. Here it is. So look at this, y'all. This, this is a bomb right here. Look at this. Look at this. Let's get some B-roll. Good God almighty, oh it's a huge bomb. Really, America? 
Look at this. Look at this. And some of these are the shells. Wow. Oh, I need a broom. <laughs> Look, it got some paddles in it. Look at that. See, the zoom on this camera is kind of weird. And I use, I have a handle too. I need to get a battery. You know, look at this. You can see all the holes for the rivets and stuff. This really sturdy. And see, when these explode, y'all, this is supposed to literally be shrapnel. All of this stuff that you see right here will turn into shrapnel, you know. We're gonna actually go to a museum museum, but look at this, this is made out of uh, uh, bombs too. So it closed at 4 p.m., so I, so I was late. Sculpts are made from 15, uh, not even 15. 500 kilograms of UXO, including cluster bombs, in memory for those who've been injured and lost their lives, uh, lost their lives or loved ones from UXO, made by Unsun, uh, uh, Anosune, Anosune uh, Vong, Afe, uh, uh, Afe, uh, local artist in 2008. So this is pretty new. Remember I was telling you the story about the guy? He said he saw, but it wasn't this type of bomb. It was another type of bomb. Laying right in the, in the soil, right beside him. And the fan was still spinning. Ooh, that's a mine for that helmet. A proximity mine.
And it's crazy, like in times of war, there's still beauty. I tell you guys, every time I get into a tuk-tuk, dang, yeah, that's hard metal, man. Every time I get into a tuk-tuk, I feel like Snake from Metal Gear Solid when he's riding on back of that, uh, you know, uh, you know, wow, prosthetic arms and legs, wooden. So this is basically uh, a rehab center. Obviously. All right. So, there is a museum close by, and um, I do need to charge my battery. And these trees over here behind me are beautiful. Kind of missed one. So let's, uh, on the way back, see, this is the shit I'm talking about. I left my damn thing off. Hold on, y'all. So it is closed. We'll go to the museum tomorrow. All right, let's get on it. So on the way back home. Lao National Museum may be closed by the time you arrive. Turn left.
So, um, wow. Just seeing one of those nuclear warheads was kind of eye-opening, man. Touching one that exploded already, too. Give me one second. I wish people on motorbikes really did watch the road, though. They really don't be watching the road out here. And I know my battery's gonna run out. I need to save up some money and get a, a Pint X, a XR, or a GT. I really want a GT. I think God gonna bless me soon, y'all. So I might uh, just chill and go on the other side of the road, you know. Just so I know I'm in, I'm, uh, I'll be all right. But I'd rather people see me than not see me. Or I'd rather see people than not see people, you know. This club right here, we went to this club. This nightclub is really good. I met one of my friends there. This nightclub over here, it's a really dope nightclub go all the way upstairs, some fly shit, you know? It's a lot of fly shit out here. Hold on, y'all. It's a little bit of a traffic jam. I should have went up there into the, uh, into the plaza. That would have been better. Well, I hope you guys, you know, I'm about to have to walk soon or uh, spend some money. Hope you guys uh, enjoy my mini movie. Hopefully you guys enjoy my movie. How's the movie so far? You know, have you guys liked? Have you subscribed? Write down in the comment section below, what are your thoughts on the bombs? You know? You know, how's, uh, is it pretty out here? You know, what's your, what's your thoughts, you know? some uh, tuk-tuks. He almost ran into the back of this damn car. I don't know why he would break like that when nobody's in front of him. But then again, I remember I've been out here uh, when I went, when we went to the, uh, when we went to the, uh, when I was showing you guys the hidden mansions. I remember this plaza. It's a nice street, nice road. I gotta pay attention to my battery though and pay attention to where I'm actually going. Oh hell no, I'm not going this way. Yeah, we're gonna we gonna we're gonna buck the nearest uh right. This thing got me going to the wrong side of town. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna buck the latest left. I'm good, I don't need to go there. We'll head back home, cause my battery's dying. Actually, let me stop at one of these places here and I could charge my battery and get something to drink. So this movie will turn out a little bit better. Man. I'm not gonna lie, man, it was a bit chilling. Definitely, you know, a bit chilling holding a, a, a you know, that bomb in my hand, you know? Brother hold a, hell, a whole nuclear warhead in his hand. Well, not a nuke, but you know what I'm saying, close to it. You know, usually if you see that here, boom, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's going off, you know? So we probably go get some pizza or something, something slight to eat.
charge my board. Thank God I was smart enough to bring my damn charger with me today. So we can actually sit down and chill. Um, there's a burger place inside this, this, this store. Yeah, the water, that water dirty as hell. Y'all be thinking y'all can come out here and drink water and shit like that. Nope, you might as well drink beer. Don't drink no goddamn water out here. This thing tried to trick me. It showed me one museum and then tried to send me to another side of town. You did definitely not finna, not finna do that. Well, you know, my man mad as hell. That's somebody. We'll go in this little shopping center. Sit down, probably get something to drink. And then, um, you know, uh, so, I don't know. Let's see what, uh, and they got some plugs here too. Let's see what one of these burgers hitting on. Ooh, I can get an ice cream. It's a burger place, y'all. I'm gonna get an ice cream. I know it's not the most manly thing to get, but you know. Ooh, I should get some chicken. They tripping one piece of chicken for 20, 20, 20,000 kip. They be getting y'all at these, at these food places, y'all. They get y'all like shit at these food places. So when y'all come here, and y'all get y'all y'all can get y'all can get fleeced, y'all get fleeced like shit. You be in that one of these uh one of these little food places. The food place will fleece you, and they'll fleece you real good too. I mean, let me get an ice cream. Get, get the hell on about my, my day. Ooh. Ooh, I'll take a tornado. It's an ice shot. Never mind, I'll just get an ice cream. Get some street food on the way back. That's why street food is always way better than these places. They be tripping on these prices. Well, thank you guys for kicking it with me today, man. You know, um, I guess this movie turned out all right. Let me see. Brighten the shutter a little bit. Uh, Sabaydi, um, can I um, can I get a uh, marble marble soft cone? You don't have? Okay, I was about to say. I'll eat an ice cream. That's a little ass ice cream. A little ass ice cream. You're tripping. Okay. Cup chai, thank you. Thank you.
Hold on, y'all. No, no, no. I just needed something slight so I could sit here and charge my board and talk to y'all. People be getting fast at these places. What a surprise. Most people will leave where they live. Just to come here to go to a mall. Just to come here and go to a mall and get fleeced. You know? You'll be surprised. Look at these BMWs. These BMWs are nice. Look at this, look at this ice cream cone. Look at that. I love this camera. So what did we learn today? Thank you guys for kicking it with me. Definitely learned a lot today. I'm glad we still went to the museum. I'm gonna sit here and uh, charge my board and take a ride back home, take a nap, put this out, get your thoughts on it. So yeah. Messed up my uh, Jordan shirt collar, but it's okay. You know. You know, let me turn this. Uh... Okay. Yeah, so we're going to eat some ice cream. Okay. I thought an actual cone came with it, marble soft cone, but it's all good. But I want to thank you guys for kicking it with me today. Let me know if you enjoyed the movie. Let me know if the quality was good. We'll definitely try to find um, we we'll definitely try to find a, a jewelry place. Not, I said jewelry place. I'm looking at a jewelry store. Actually, we'll definitely check out this mall. You know? Give me a second. We might check out this mall. Probably put like a little five minute together. Showing y'all the mall a little bit. I really do want to ride my one wheel in here, but the security dude out there, he was tripping. I didn't pay him no mind. I was going to get off the one wheel anyway, so, you know? But this is what real gangsters do, man. We sit down and eat ice cream. <laughs> you did? I love ice cream. I just can't, I just, I found out once I got older, I can't eat it no more. This one's on y'all. You did? But nah. All jokes aside, I want to thank you guys for really sticking in there with me and supporting the show. Definitely, uh, we're gonna get where we need to go. Only one road to take, and that road is success. Only one way to go, and that's up, all right? You guys enjoy the day? Peace, it's Player Talk. <laughs>